hello. Um, as I said I would, I'm making a video on God, and uh, I realize that this is a completely loaded subject, and that I have a lot of atheist subscribers, and a lot of um, agnostic subscribers, and um, I am <laughs> I'm in danger of offending everyone, but, um, you know, this is a, if you do have beliefs, then they should be able to stand up for themselves, and, um, I think that no matter what the subject is, it should always be open for discussion, because, because once you stop growing, then, you know, what's the point? So, um, so I'm, I, I guess, I guess, uh, with an, a discussion like this, you need to start by defining what God is. And um, this is a tricky thing because a lot of people see God as redundant because there's a physical world, um, there's what we can measure within it, and there's science, and then where does God come in? God is supposedly is um, transcends reality and um, exists within God's own realm, according to most people and religions. Um, so how can this ever be proven? Especially with what we know now about the brain. Um, because we know now that that all of our thoughts and emotions kind of come down to neurotransmitters in the brain. And even religious experiences kind of come down to occurrences in the temporal lobe. Um, so there's really no way to prove God in terms of physicality. Um, Unless, and you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, pantheism believes that, asserts that um, God is everything, right? Everything in the physical world and everything that might not be in the physical world, it's all God, right? Um, well, I think that that's a really interesting idea, and I kind of want us to talk about that a little bit. Um, so, pantheism basically asserts that um, God is everything, um, and so a lot of people say that God must be uncaused. So if God is everything, then God spans back into um, the infinity of our past and into the infinity of our future. And if God fits so completely within um, infinity, then God is uncaused. God does transcend matter and reality by being all matter and all reality. Um, sort of maybe like the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Um, something like that. Um, so I think that that's a really uh, interesting idea. And, you know, correct me if I got this whole thing wrong. Um, but, you know, why not? I think that the concept of God really comes down to that God is a concept. Um, in terms of our brain, uh, we do have a, an overdeveloped forebrain. Um, it's it's really way too big for our body. <laughs> so um, I, I think this is called encephalization, and it happened be it, it it happened because we uh, learned how to cook meat and this. Um, this gave us more energy to go to our brain because um, formerly uh, we had to use the energy to digest meat and so the meat sort of became pre-digested when we cooked it um, and also we developed our brain because we had to figure out how to access foods like coconuts and uh, basically it all came down to food but really I digress um, I think that God has to be within the conceptual realm, um, unless you're a pantheist. And when I say that, I mean that God is really an extension of, of human concepts of goodness, infinity, and love. God sort of fills in that mysterious nature of reality that we don't have access to and that we suspect exists somehow. Um, so people who believe in God oftentimes use God to explain the unexplainable. And this aspect of God is that God is, um, essentially, God must be mysterious. 
you know, um, people don't usually like to, um, the people don't like to worship the physical world. Um, people don't like to revere the physical world if the causes are obvious. Um, I think that a lot of people think that spirituality can't be caused, or that that God and all that God entails um, is not special unless we don't understand it. And I think this is silly myself. Um, but I mean, have have has anyone noticed this? Um, so. Oh! Sorry about that. I got interrupted by a phone call, obviously. Um, and that's when my parents got here, so... Um, <sighs> hopefully I can remember everything uh, that I wanted to say in closing. Um, I think in order to talk about God, um, it's necessary to sort of examine what consciousness is, um, because I think the both that both concepts um, are pretty interrelated, or can be, um, if you like to think about God. So, um, I guess what I was going to say is that, um, as far as we can tell, the body is, um, physical, and it receives input from a physical world, and processes it, um, via neurons, and, um, of course, the five senses, and, um, and from this, from these, um, discrete interactions in the brain, um, from these smaller parts, um, arises a, a more cohesive model of um, viewing the world. Um, the brain, in order to function properly, must um, create a framework with which to function. Um, and this in itself is a really interesting thing um, to think about and learn about. And I am taking some cognitive science classes um, right now, which is really interesting. But, um, what I was going to say is that, uh, according to functionalists, and again, I might be in this wrong, um, but probably not, don't worry, uh, according to functionalists, uh, the, the brain, um, is physical, but the actual program that's running, um, from the parts of the brain is not quantifiable. Um, it's, it's, uh, something that can't be measured and um, something that must be experienced. And I think this is a really interesting and um, pretty sound uh, way of looking at consciousness. And um, I think that God can be um, compared to this. Uh, God is something that arises from the human experience. God is like um, a piece of music or a work of art in that um, a piece of art is made from a bunch of smaller brush strokes, but the whole of it um, means something different than just the collective brush strokes. And in the same way, um, music is um, this uh, temporal collection of notes and sounds and tones, and it means something to us. It means something to us because we're human. Music is a human thing as far as we know. Maybe it's a dolphin thing too, but I'm just leaving it there. Um, and so I, I think that God certainly um, can belong in the realm of the conceptual um, as a sort of, as a sort of um, poetry, as a way of revering the world around us. Um, so, you know, that's, that's what I've been thinking about recently. So uh, let me know what you think, uh, correct me if I made any mistakes, and I look forward to hearing from you.